Asante sana kwa kukaribisha sisi wanahabari kutoka Kenya Online Media. Yes. Na media zingine tumeshukuru sana kwa muda huu. Mm. Au sio? Yes. Congratulations ya kwanza kwa sababu unaona umekadiriwa pale zawadi uh, kutoka Boomplay kufikisha milioni 5. Mm. Unaichukuliaje bro? Eh uh, si chukulie vilight mm. na nashukuru sana na nashukuru mafans wangu kwa ku, kuniaminia because uh, it's because of them that nimepata hizo numbers jo without them hakuna numbers unaelewa and without them itabidi tugeuke kuchukua tukue vifaranga vya computer kama wewe anga vya computer eti watu wananunua bisi nani mimi eh jumekoa kiakizo watu wengi ati wananunua bisi hapa nje ah i mean kuna watu wananunua but acha nisiwaongelee nitakuwa nimeharibu biashara yao <laughs> na mimi ni mtu napenda kuona watu wakiendelea sawa yes ongera kwa ngoma yako mpya na size hii nashukuru nashukuru kwa training number 1 yes so kuna wasi walikuwa nauliza kwani pozee amerudi gospel hata amerilisi hiyo ngoma sijai toka lakini <laughs> 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 ni love songs eh ni ni love songs hizo oh sasa yes. A uh, video yako yenye uliachilia jana na Aline. Mm. Wasi walitarajia labda ulipona na Aline wako kwa hiyo video lakini kakuwa kitu different. You know sometimes nipoa <coughs> nipoa kujaribu kitu watu wajai jaribu labda ama watu wanaogopa kujaribu. Uh, the song Heartbreak uh, featuring Aline ni kitu tulisema tunataka ikuwe movie. So si video imefanywa sasa hivi okay. tulienda steto tuka inaitwaje tuka coordinate venye inafanywa tukapeana idea yetu and then sasa ma producer huko wakakaa chini waka come up na hiyo kwa kuna leni nimekuaje cuz sasa hizo sasa hizo ngoma tatu nimefanya na yeye na yeye ni legend umelearn nini kutoka kwa watu uh, by the way just so you know Alain is a very very humble uh, woman of god unaelewa Alafu nimse uwezi mwambia kitu akusikia zin uh, uwezi mchocha umwambie na nini mbaya ama na nini mzuri work na huyu si work na ule kwa sababu hata before nifanye i do na Alain you know alifanya some res- research about me ama on me whichever na vitu aliambiwa ni vitu sio pleasing unaelewa unajua si wa Kenya venye masa zingine tunaruhusu shetani anaingia anachukua ile love yenye tuko nayo inakuwa hey tunaelewa so hizo ndio vitu aliambiwa lakini yeye venye alienda kwa content yangu akasema ah anapenda kazi yao kijana so hivyo ndio venye Alain alikubali kwanza tukafanya i do but wase walinichomea hata nikiwaambia majina hapa mtashtuka juu hata si rika zangu ama rika zenu ni watu tu Mekoma. Mekoma. na ulikuwa unasema magoti zao zina shine eh sasa hey. kwa ni me... <laughs> okay uh, star star taja jina venye tu nimesema staki kutaja taja wase but kuna hiyo time whisky dal come tukapatana a group of people ama artist ni na nini tukaongea mpaka akatuma manager wangu kwa manager wake so funny enough uh, time sasa tulikuwa tunafuatilia tukatumiwa screenshot na wale wase walikuwa wameleta wizkid wakatuambia hivi ndio sande anasema sande ni manager wa wizkid aka ilikuwa imeandikwa hapo at hey, but we are told uh, Willie Paul is a trying artist he is not a serious brand even ndio wa Kenya wenzangu walini chomea which is okay ni sawa sijai kufa juu hiyo oh sasa ni wengi sahi wana release album na wewe last year release album yako tutaraji album nyingine leo eh album yangu inakuja maybe in two months ama one month siko sure cuz ni ni kitu nimekuwa nikiwakia for this is the seventh month na si kitu tafadhali <laughs> ni kitu <laughs> si kubahati sha sasa ni wageni wenye wako kwa hiyo album yako 
some collaborations hapo ni vitu mtapenda international labda una tajia inchi yenye umesafiri ah kidogo nitaje ka tatu labda tatu tuko na Cameroon tuko na tuko na Tanzania tuko na South Africa acha nitaje tu hizo tatu kwanza kwanza kuna msanii anatoka Tanzania ambapo juzi niko na claim amenyakuwa ngoma hapo fulani na si mara ya kwanza kusema kuna mtu amechukua ngoma yako ndio mimi nitaeleza ni suluhisha na ni message gani unaweza tuma wale nje ah first thing na ina urge my fellow kenyans tupendane kitu ya kwanza wasa wapendani so mi usponipenda chani si guze hapo mtachoma anyway eh uh, ase ni wase wamezoea kuchukua idea zangu kitu ya kwanza na hiyo song unasema kikweli ukiweka hiyo song hizo parts mbili tu za nilitaja hapo utasikia hata melody in the same but ju, ju, kidogo tujua wa Kenya hawaamini kwa wakenya wenzao mm-hmm. wanaona kweli zinafanana but wako like ai hapana yeah. just because hawataki ku accept hiyo fact ya mkenya anezaibiwa na mtu wa nje yeah. unaelewa yeah. yes Wazee, i'm just trying to look at uh, music uh, as something ambayo imekuwa and we've seen whatever you're talking about is sampling Mm-hmm. Eh, kwa hivyo do you want to say that sampling music ni kitu kibaya kwa sababu tumeona hata legends kutoka kitambo huwa wana sample to music. So kuna kitu naitwa sampling mm-hmm. na kukopi. <coughs> Unaweza una ka... <laughs> Kuna kukopi direct. I mean sampling ni kitu imekuwa cause yeah. music ni repetition ya mm-hmm. kitu ishaifanywa yeah. before. Unaelewa? Yeah. So mimi na nazungumzia melody copy pasting melody yani ukisikiza melody hadi venye na attack ni the same thing unaelewa mm. but mimi ni nani mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu na nimesamehe nimesamehe niko na swali fulani hapa ile tumeingia kwa studio of course tumeona kwa kitu kidogo picha ukipost kuna mabadiliko nimeona hapa ndugu yako picha yake haiko ndugu yangu mgani mimi na ndugu mgani but yeah. oh, my brother in Christ picha yake iko ah basi takwa tu ni hiyo section imechoka na wazee ah ulikuwa unazungumza ukasema kwamba your account ya eh, yeah, YouTube ili hakiwa na wakarilizi ile ngoma first i wanna know kwamba ni kweli ili hakiwa actually uh, swali la pili tu kwanza yes. eh, ni nini ambacho management inafanya in the future kitu kama hicho kisifanye um ni venye mmekuja before ni address tena so this is what happened hiyo song ya Len venye nimewaambia ni kitu ilifanywa before hata hiya size 8 so ikawekwa youtube ikalokiwa so kuwekwa private pale ika waka ya kia time itatoka muda fulani so huyu na mwenzake huyu ni manager wangu anaitwa Kenon na kuna mwingine anaitwa Jeff wali fail So mimi nikajua account imehakiwa. So tukifuatilia vizuri hawa hawakutoa time. So mimi nimelala eh asubuhi naambiwa song ilitoka 4. Uh, sana ni usiku I mean. Mimi nikajua account yangu imehakiwa. Kitu nilidu nilienda nika kwanza nika stop hiyo song nika delete nikaeka private actually uh-huh. and then nikaambia wase account yangu imehakiwa that's why hiyo song ilitoka but nikika kidogo niko na wasee wameupload tena na account zingine so already walikuwa washai download sasa wana upload nika sikuwa na option ikabidi tu ni release na nikitu ni project moja na feel uh, niko na a lot of pain na cause hili ni cost walai hiyo time ili ni cost hadi eh kwa hiyo unahisi kwamba ni issue ya management ili fail si kwamba ili hakiwa ah uh, iku hakiwa okay, but yeah. mimi nilijua imehakiwa kwa sababu nilikuwa like ai song imetokaje na sio mimi sure. kumbe management hawakutoa hiyo time yani hawakuisongesha mbele yeah. it was yeah. a technical problem on okay. the side and of mm. course eh, tukikuja saldido eh, management tunajua kwamba saldido kuna wasanii watatu and of course tunamuona clones pale na ningependa tukujua miss people ipo wapi so the thing is uh-huh. mimi hata mkikuja nilikuwa najua interview ni yangu sasa ni naambiwa huko ati eh manager na msanii wako mwenyako around watakujoin tu 
wa kupatia moyo cuz unajiona kuanga mtu emotion today is all about <laughs> today is all about me will pose uh-huh. yeah. so yeah. so pose so, you are uh, song litoka jana bila wewe kujua baadaye ukaitoa which means you are litoa ngoma ito at broken ka kwa break at the same time hapa <laughs> <laughs> by the way naweza sema hivyo i was so heartbroken uh, to a point ikabidi nitoe heart heartbreak <laughs> yeah jiwata <laughs> alain uh, nimeshindwa hata kufungua message yake wallahi. Ju venye tu ameanza nimeona eh sijui nitajibu aje. Unaona? Labda tu management namba tu labda tusikie sauti ya clones tu kidogo tu labda bro mm. ah, poa sana. Uko poa? Eh kabisa. Naona una, una feel vipi kufanya ama kukua chini ya Saldido Records na pia kukua chini ya Will Paul? Well, mimi naweza sema tu niko humble mm. na ni a great learning experience for okay. me as an artist na mtu pia anataka ku achieve if not kitu ila me achieve maybe greater than yeah 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 so, of course uh, turudi kidogo kwa pose asante sana mwanangu pale mm-hmm. eh, pose i just want to know eh, kuna jamal kwa msema wasanii wengi wamefanya albums na i want to eh, have your take specifically eh, because kuna wakati ulisema kwamba watu wamefanya album na hazijafanya vizuri what's your take on bahati's album yeah mna <laughs> mambo nyingi <laughs> okay eh uh, amengangana uh, penye amefika hapo ndio uwezo wake okay. mnaichukulia vibaya labda acha ni maarifa penye amefika ndio penye uwezo wake unaelewa but naweza sema amengangana tusidanganyane amengangana mm-hmm. at least uh, naza sama ime imekuwa successful mm-hmm. imemwakia mm-hmm. na tuendelee hivyo hivyo kama wasanii pia watu waamke tufanye maalbum but sasa kwa album zenye tunafanya tuhakikishe tu mtu anaweza differentiate number 1 na number 10 eh najua mmepotea yani kitu nasema <laughs> ni nyimbo zisifanane you, you know sometimes kuna albums unaweza sikiza but ujui kama song ilishaenda namba 2 ama 3 eh juu ya kufanana one day unaona ni kama unasikiza ngoma sema next question sorry yeah eh meona could go na ile issue ya people using different ways to earn money yes eh wale wasanii Simtu anasema. Oh, yeah, simtu, yeah. simtu. So what is your take now that you have a chance to like my take public? actually uh, I'm not going to mention any names. Yes. I, I said that uh, tukianza mm. but uh, ah, kila mtu na maisha yake mabuti ni zao nime wacha wanganyane nazo. Na pose ni chifokuza hapo kutoka Plat TV. Wanasema kwamba wimbo wako wa na Lane ule very almost 10.8 million Kenyan shillings. Je ni ukwe? manager unaweza confirm yeah it's very true because kitu ya kwanza unajua as saldido saldido is not a, a small company ni place tumekuwa tu kitoa hits hits kuna vitu mob tunadua hapa apart from music na reason hiyo do imegonga hiyo amount ni kwa sababu state of policy kama kununua mkate nusu wala Ebu imagine upandishe wase kama wa saba ama watano uh, ndege muende hizo uh, ma- accommodation za huko watu walipwe company ya production ilipwe and the actors from hollywood walipwe hmm. cuz ukiangalia hapo hata ukiangalia watoto wanaka watoto wanajielewa jo wanajielewa mimi hata nilikuwa naogopa kuongelesha jo nilikuwa naona watani embarrass <laughs> mm. so Yeah. Ukipiga hesabu yako vizuri whatever amount ili spend wapo it makes sense because ile ni ile ni international song. Ukiangalia tulienda maju na tukafanya kazi na international actors Hollywood actors production si production ya local unaona. So just makes sense. Ni hela ambayo ilitoka kwa mfuko wa Saldido au pengine kulikuwa na wafadhili. Wa Kunge kwa na wafadhili wa mngewana tumewaandika hapo kwa video. <laughs> Speaking of uh, issue your album. Yes. Uh, are you currently like unataka ku sign another artist as you working on your album ama your main focus is on your album? 
pia unajua uwezi sign wasanii tu kama mtu ananunua mkate <laughs> kwa sababu uh, inahitaji a lot of energy attention commitment ndio uhakikishe msanii anakuwa successful so it's not just about signing ni sa ume sign but nini umefanyia wewe msanii so far yeah. unaona so lazima una play cards zako vizuri dunia iishi leo but ikiamua kuisha leo ni mipango za Mungu atukufi leo yeah. ni kwa sababu pia nilikuwa nimeona post flani kwenye page yako nasema mm. kwamba Saldiro is actually looking for a female artist uh, what's the situation right now what's the status quo hiyo ni kitu ilikuwa inafaa kwa imefanyika last year <coughs> na ilichelewa cause tunafaa kwa na two male artists na two female artists mm-hmm. so so far tuko na two male artists na one female artist So tunafaa kuongeza mmoja ndio wa balance. Yes. Now so we are going to take a few questions so make it worth it. Pose pose um ni kwa mtu akujua. Umekuwa ukifanya collab na wasanii kadhaa kutoka hapa Kenya, hali vile kumeunga akiwa pia one of them. Na tungependa kujua do you charge for collabs and how much is it? No. I don't charge for collabs. Uh One is on your phone. <laughs> no just, just asking you me yeah. tukemwa ku charge itakuwa ni kitu a different case uh, so haina haja cuz we told him tunaangalia talents sana sana mm. tunaangalia msanii anajituma kivyo about proximate tuseme kama if you want to charge for collab nasema how much is kitu ya kwanza nitaangalia mm. mimi mwenyewe as a brand reach yangu unajua mimi ni siko hapa Kenya tu. Mimi mm. nasikizwa. Ukiangalia the song I do ilikuwa kwa charts hata states time ilitoka ilikuwa ina trend at number 2. Ilikuwa number 1 actually. Number 1 alafu ni Kiminaja alikuwa number 2 kwa Apple TV. Hiyo time. Unaelewa? So countries kama Brazil, Italy ni wase wanazitumia sana kwa wedding. Hata DM yangu imeja tusichana tu rembo tu rembo tu. Kwa utu tu countries unaelewa? So <laughs> Uh, kitu na try kusema ni inalingana mimi nikikupatia uh, hii connection yangu wewe unanipatia nini unaelewa mm-hmm. so labda unipata tu nikiwa kwa mood spoa mm-hmm. uh, tu mama wa watoto wangu watuja ni haribu uh, kichwa juu unajua kuna time na kuanga pia na mood mbaya cause mimi ni binadamu at the end of the day so we yes eh, kati ya wasanii ambao wamefanya collab mingi sana nje ya nchi wili bola atakuwa kichukua nambari moja pale juu. Mm. Na kati ya collab ambazo umefanya zikaweza kwenda sana ni collab kutokea Tanzania. Collab zako na Nandi, kuna collab yako na Ali Kiba pia. Na pia collab kutokea Wasafi zile ambazo umefanya. Na pia collab ya I do kule Jamaica ni kati ya collab ambazo zimeenda sana. Mm. Lakini ni muda kutokea ufanye collab na msanii wa Tanzania kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo amekuwa akiendelea wao kusema wewe kusema kwamba wao wamefanya kunini ngoma zako kusample beats and all that so kwa sasa tunaweza tarajia nini kutokea kule Tanzania maana wale ndugu zetu <coughs> eh ni ndugu zetu <coughs> eh ni kweli tumia <laughs> ya ni ndugu yeah, zetu <coughs> yeah but actually uh, album yangu iko na collab ya Tanzania unaona mm-hmm. so iko na collab ya Tanzania mimi hata sina issue Ishu yangu ni I mean if kama unataka kutumia idea yangu mi sina shida but contact my people at least tuambie eh, eh tumependa hii ama nimependa hii na tunaomba tutumie unajua at the end of the day ni kushare ile kidogo Mungu anakupatia una share but lazima na wewe before ni share na wewe niombe cause uwezi kuja tu uchukue mali yangu alafu ni expect uh, ni chukulie lightly So I see one of the Shiro hapa. Okay. So hiyo story umeongelea ya collab. Uh, ah sasa hii mtu kama bahati anakuita collab unaweza kubali ama Ah swali ni <laughs> Nauliza tu. Mimi sina noma. Mm. But mimi ni mwanabiashara pia at the end of the day, si ndio? Itani benefit na nini kama msanii? Unaelewa? So hizo ni vitu naangalia. Before niimbe na msemi uangalia huyu nikiimba na yeye itanifikisha wapi? itanifungulia milango gani ama ni mimi nitakuwa na mfungulia milango tu unaelewa yeah so uh, we are going to take three last questions yeah. three years ago ulituangoma na harmonize ili remix 
then ikatokea issue eti kulikuwa na kitoelewa na kidogo hak promote ngoma do you still bado mnaongea kama harmonize au hivi mimi sina noma see that's why leo mtaona mtu atanitukana anichokoza but kesho yake tu mtaongea naye yeah so me i don't take uh, things to heart i don't keep things up hivi eh mimi nikiudhika mimi ongea tu na namaliza hapo hivyo mwingine asali mwisho nani ifasani elimu zenzela mjini so pose juzi kwa ig handle yako tu hino ki thank god sema asante na kufinya na kwa ile nyingine endelee kufinya le kuna kuna maanisha nini hiyo si mimi ni post juice ya kumbuka. Maybe maybe we yake vizuri nitakumbuka. Okay sawa. Na ya mwisho if you don't mind that is tunakumbuka interview yenu iliitwa na old president of Gavanisha. Is it true that we got a interview na kod yake ama? So I just have a quick question for for all of you ama sisi wote hapa. So if I'm on the wrong hata nyinyi mniambie sawa? Uh, umenipigia simu saa hii nikakwambia eh ni acha view mbio mbio kiasi nikamwambia eh saa hii na drive let me call you back akaniambia eh si hui dakika chache tu nikamwambia pana i'll call you back cause i'm driving akaniambia nitakupigia yani ali insist atanipigia na mimi namwambia nitakupigia cause mimi ndio najua time yenye namaliza so from hapo hiyo simu tulimaliza hivyo the next thing mimi nilikuwa naona ni Nairobi gossip wamekelea hapo ati kuna presenter amesemaje mimi ni arrogant uh, sijui nimefanya nini nimefanya nini but ni sawa you see at the end of the day god ndiye anajua mse god ndiye anajua hati ya mse na usingangane kujiprove right ama kuprove kitu kwa binadamu because at the end of the day binadamu akupati oxygen na kupati chance ya kuishi and um, part of the work on that push is ambition as a president ya Mungu ni mengi na kitu mimi naweza sema ni anything yenye italeta change kwa country yangu nitaiendoze inaweza kuwa DP inaweza kuwa Uhunye inaweza kuwa Raila Kalonzo anyone bora anything yenye inaweza leta change kwa country yangu country yangu na anything yenye inaweza nionyesha wasanii wana mata nyinyi mnamata sijui kama mnanielewa cause for a very long time tumekuwa neglected 